Have you ever wondered, can I download all of my Google data, like my email or my photos from Google Photos with just a few clicks of my mouse? Or how about the other data associated with other Google services that I use? Can I get that easily? Well, the answer is yes, you absolutely can. Today, we will be discussing a website, takeout.google.com. Now, this is a legitimate Google service that allows Google users to easily download all of their Google data in one place. Let's go to the site and I'll walk you through how this works and how you would download your own data from your own Google data if you decided to do so. Okay, so here we are on Google Takeout's homepage. And as I said earlier, all of your Google service, services show here, right? So every Google service or every um, service that you tie to your Google ca account will show up in this list. So I'm scrolling down this list and we have things like Chrome data, contacts, Gmail, emails, right? So um, all the emails from my Gmail. Now I haven't really done a lot with this account. This is a secondary account, so there's not a lot of Google services in here. You may have way more than me, which is okay. So let's talk about how to get this data, how to download this information to your computer if you were to need it, right? So I'm gonna kind of focus on the email data today, okay? So I'm gonna scroll all the way back up to the top and I'm gonna deselect all the options, so nothing is selected. And now I'm just gonna go straight to Gmail and select just that. Okay, and then I'm gonna scroll to the bottom and I would hit next. And again, just remember that these instructions would apply to any of the options in the list. I'm just using the Gmail emails as an example. And I feel like it's something that a lot of people out there are going to want. Or, you know, if they're watching this video, that may have been what brought them here was specifically their Gmail emails. Okay, now we have some options. We need to tell Google take out how we want this data because it's a lot of data, right? They're not just going to drop it into your downloads folder instantly, okay? They need to gather it up and compress it into a zip file, okay? And then send it over to you. So for now, I'm going to choose the email link. It's the easiest way to deal with it, okay? You can look at the other options. There's some some drive options, like they could drop it straight into one of your, your drive services, your cloud services, right? File sync services. You could do that. I'm going to do email link. It's, it's easy, like I said, easy to deal with, and again, right underneath the drop down, they kind of go over what I just explained, right? So it's going to take some time for the files to be ready. Okay, so they need to be able to send you this link when that is done when they have it all ready. Okay, then you get to download what they sent over to your PC, right? So like they'll send a link, it'll take you to the files, the folder um, that they put together, and then you can download that to your computers. So not done all in just one day, it could take depending on how much data it is, is how long it's going to take them to get it ready. Okay, Frequency option underneath that, this is pretty self-explanatory, okay? Do you want it now, just one time, or do you want this to be a regular thing? Do you want to set up like a scheduled export and you that data, bring it to the computer so you can keep it, whatever, on a backup if that's your plan, or I'm um, just storing it on your machine, okay? So I, I just want this export once for today, just right now, so we're just gonna choose um, once for now. And then again, like I mentioned earlier, they got they got to zip the file down, comp compress the file down to a zip or a .tgz, okay? Uh, that would be good if you're using like Linux. It can be open on Windows. I think the zip file is a lot easier to deal with. Um, so I, I'm just gonna go with zip. And if you choose zip now, we gotta tell them how much data in each folder, okay? So this part might be confusing, but, but think about it, okay? So they're gonna break up the data, they're gonna send it in, segments again it's a lot of data and so they're not just going to give you one big folder um, you're going to have to choose what size now you could choose all the way up to 50 gigabytes but i will note here that if you choose anything over two gigabytes it's going to change the file type to a zip 64 file that might affect your ability to open the file on older operating systems okay with windows 10 and 11 you're going to be okay so you don't have to worry about it so once you're ready, you hit on the export down there and they will begin the creation of the of, of what you downloaded, right? So all of your stuff, whatever you chose to have downloaded, if it was just the email like I'm doing here, now Google is going to gather all that information, compress it into a zip file and then send it to me via a link in my email that I'll be able to click and then I can open and I can get the data. Thank you all for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe below if this video helped out and see you on the next one.